Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video, another set from the Red Dragon 2022 range, and this time it's the Fusion Plus, a lovely green dart. So let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 25 gram version, the 90% tungsten, they're also in 23 gram in steel tip and 20 gram in soft tip, and the retail for £49.90. So the darts come in the Red Dragon cardboard packaging and inside you've got a foam inlay holding the darts in place and they look super nice with the Nitro Tech green stems. <laughs> um, they come with the short Nitro Tech polycarbonate and alloy topped stems and you've got the new Red Dragon hardcore Mohawk style standard shape flights, quite a nice design on them. So the darts fit with a silver point and the barrel, apart from the fact it's got a lovely green coating on, has got a quite an unusual shape. It's a short dart, but it's hard to describe it, what kind of shape it is. It's almost like a sleek tapered bullet style. You got this fairly long uh, taper at the front with the quite wide notches gentle taper on the rear and then this scallop section somewhere in between um, so it's hard to say who's gonna suit most because if you go front middle and rear you don't actually fit into that section but if you're a person that likes a short barrel and you grip just front of the rear then you'll probably find that a really nice spot fingers sit into it nice and easy and it's fairly grippy um so yeah if that's where you grip your dart you're probably gonna like the feel of these now on the website it said this cotton was a zirconium nitride cotton i've not heard that expression before on the cotton so i don't know if all green cottons are that or whether it's a uh, another new type of cotton it's hard to say they're not always very uh, specific on details with the cottons they either just say pvd or whatever but either way it looks really nice i think even if it wasn't my favorite color it'd still be a nice looking dart and if, if it didn't have a cotton on but it's paired up very nicely with the green short nitro tech stems and the new uh, Mohawk Hardcore Flights, quite a nice design on them. Right, so here's the super close look, as you can see. There's that long tapered section with these quite wide scooped lateral cuts. And it's got the green zirconium coating in there. Very nice it looks. And then you've got this kind of a scallop section, which is a double thin ring grip widely spaced and deeply grooved with a curved groove and it's also got them lateral cuts through it so fairly grippy section Let's see if I can stop the light shine on it and just on the end part it's just a smooth tapered section with the red dragon logo on let's have a look at the stem there interesting close up of the stem there <laughs> So that's the Red Dragon Fusion Plus starts in super close up. The darts fit with a silver 27mm point. You've got this tapered front section and that's got the lateral scoops running through it. That's 20.5mm. Then you've got the scallop section with the double thin ring grip again with the lateral scooped notches that's 16 millimeters then a tapered section on the end of the barrel 9.2 millimeters length is 45.7 millimeters and the widest part is 7.8 millimeters Twenty-four point nine three grams 24.92 grams 
That's quite a big difference that. Uh, what was the smallest one there? Was it 20, 92 or 93? But that is quite a big difference on the last one, so I don't know why that's happened. But full setup, 26.96 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. It's really just the scallop part that's the grippiest, so quite a high level grip, so 7.5 but also it's in a scallop so it may feel more grippy to some. Don't ask me what happened to the first one. <laughs> Um, I'm holding it fairly close to the nose like and I'm just going to move it up a little bit more onto them kind of like long wide notches on this throw get a lot more spin from there which I was expecting would, ha would happen yeah there's a lot of spin but it's only a short dart so balance is great and it's actually quite zippy through the air because it's a fairly short setup as well oh. well I say a lot of spin there but it actually throws quite nice from there I thought it might be a dart that's only going to suit that section but actually feels rather nice thrown from there even though I'm getting a lot of spin <laughs> and also it's green so it's obviously the best start ever <laughs> all right so on this I'm I'm not sitting fully into that scallop section, but I'm pretty much three quarters into it and definitely get a decent amount of grip from that. And I would say the balance is probably the best around there. But I am noticing quite a lot more spin again. I think it's just down to the grip. But if you like a scallop dart and you're into short barrels, I think whether you're a front or mid gripper or possibly even a rear gripper, you could probably adapt to that spot there. I think it wouldn't take too much long to get used to it. And your fingers do sit into it nice and comfortably. Hmm. I think I did better from the front leg, but it does feel rather nice there. Holding it, maybe mostly on the smooth part on the rear, but maybe just a little bit on the, the flared part from the scallop. Oh, I actually th thought that was going in before I even threw it. This one won't. But I think it's probably because it's a short dart and often with a short barrel like this, the balance is nice, but it's also got the short setup, so it's a little bit easier to throw from the rear than a long dart would be for me. And another treble from the rear grip. I'll take that. You know what I think it is? I think it's just because it's a green dart.
Oh, treble one. Never mind, I didn't get the other one in any way. <laughs> well, there you go. That's the Red Dragon Fusion darts. Now, normally I wouldn't buy a dart like this expecting it to work for me, mainly because, as you can see, the grip and everything is there, so I think uh, it's more for mid to rear grippers, but actually flies quite well for me from the front grip. And like I said, it's only a short dart, so you, whether you're a front, middle or rear gripper, I don't think it would take too much to get used to gripping it there. But for middle grippers, you'd probably take to that straight away. Rear grippers should be able to adjust to it easy. Uh, if you're a very front gripper like what I normally am, like me, then it may take a bit while, but again, I still think you could easily get used to that. And it does feel nice throwing it from there, but I did notice quite a lot more spin. I think it's just down to the grippiness there, but I was also getting quite a lot from them lateral cuts at the front. But balance and the way it was flying for me from there was rather nice. Did seem a little bit zippy through the air, but it is only a short setup and it's that kind of dart that often does fly quite zippy. Um, so there you go, that's the Red Dragon Fusion. Obviously a very good dart because it's green, like I said, and obviously green is the best color that was ever invented. <laughs> I've, I'm green obsessed, I know. <laughs> So I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy darting.